Good morning, everybody. We are starting out a little weekend in the life. It's Saturday morning. We are getting the kid all ready, or Obes is getting the kid all ready. We're going to go play some tennis and then, um, yeah, get on with the rest of the Saturday. And then, yeah, I think we'll carry it in to Sunday night. I think we're going to have a good old time. I think there's a blue tree outside. Look. My phone is about to die, so I don't know how many clips I'm going to get at tennis, but um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. No, I got a different one for you. Okay. All right, so you've been home for a little while now. I need to do some like little household things. The thing is, I'm trying really hard to not do too much on the weekends so that I'm exhausted by Monday, especially because... Yesterday I had like a nine hour work day and then Monday I go to Ohio. So I really need these two days to be restful and rejuvenating. But the way my brain works is that there's always something to do like and I can't ignore it and everything feels like my responsibility. So today what I did was everything that I felt like I needed to do today. I made a list and then I sat with Obes and I was like, can we go through these items one by one and you just tell me what I'm overdoing here just because I don't have like an accurate measure of how much is too much and um I just feel like I should con if I have downtime I should be doing something so we went through the list and he took some things off the list that he was like oh I'm gonna do that I've got that don't worry about it and then other things he was like that doesn't not urgent like that doesn't have to be done today um and so that left me with kind of a few major priorities for today number one is watering the plants Number two is going to the grocery store. And what's number three? Oh, going through the kiddo's clothes. Um, I just want to go through his clothes and see what he needs for cold weather. Like, just kind of what has he grown out of. Obi's done a lot of that, but um, I just want to, like, do the rest of it <laughs> like finish that project because I need to like make a list of if he needs anything else like if he needs long sleeve shirts or what I think the first thing I'm gonna do is water plants because they're the most visibly upset with me <laughs> um Obi watered them when I was in that on my flight back from Bali so it's been a couple weeks and most like at this stage of the year like you don't have to water them as frequently but some of them are looking a little thirsty. So we're gonna get them, we're gonna get the plants watered today. Oh, um, I am heading to the grocery store. It is colder right now than it was this morning. This morning was like perfect weather, it was a dream. And now it's like chilly. I'm wearing shorts and it's way too cold. Um, but we're just working with what we're working with. Um, I I was like debating if I was going to go to Trader Joe's or go to Ingalls. Um, there's things I would really like to get from Trader Joe's. But I'm actually only going to be here one more day before I leave. So I don't think that... Oops, cares about anything that I was going to get at Trader Joe's. That was like all for me. So I think I'll just go to Ingalls, get the things that like we need for the next few days. Um, try and like help Obes out because he's going to be single parenting for a few days while I'm gone and just, you know, try and get him stocked up pretty well. Um, and yeah, I also need afternoon caffeine. I think I'm going to do tea. I'm really enjoying that. I've been doing that for a minute. Ever since I came back from Bali, I've just been drinking tea in the afternoons. It really just started because I slept for like two days and so I didn't have afternoon coffee. And so it kind of, I just kind of felt like I don't wanna feel like I have to have afternoon coffee. That's how it felt before. Like two cups of coffee a day was like my regimen. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't feel good if I didn't. Like, why not play with it for a little bit? I don't know. I think, it, I think it's, like, a fun thing to explore. So, I'm going to do that. And so, I've been doing that. And 
I had an afternoon coffee yesterday because it was raining and I was exhausted and I had, I mean, I had a long day yesterday. Um, and so I was just like, I am not going to be able to get this work done if I don't f like, I'm going to want, I want caffeine, like a punch. I want a punch <laughs> to the energy gut, but I like the way that matcha is kind of like a slow burn and I don't want to be hyper today. I don't want to be like, oh, I have so much energy and I'm trying not to do, I'm not trying to do less. So I think I'm going to move up into the next space. Um, yeah. So I think that that will actually be good for me to just kind of have like a calmer caffeine experience this, this afternoon. All that to say, I think I'm going to get a matcha, maybe a chai. Hmm. Which one do I want? I guess we'll find out together. And then, um, yeah, just grab some, just grab a quick little grocery run. I actually love going to the grocery store, um, especially on weeks we have the kiddo because it's kind of like a little zen time. I like put music in or a podcast or something along those lines, an audiobook, and just, you know, I have my little system and it, it makes sense to me. So I'm going to enjoy it, I think. I'm going to go do that now. to tell you that you're crooked okay I just had to break the news now um okay you're crooked. um I wanted to tell you a couple of things from the store the first one is that I just asked the person working I was like listen I can't make this decision for myself I, I just can't um I'm gonna love both matcha and a chai can you just choose she said it's gloomy outside you should do a chai and I said perfect so we ended up with a chai. Um, also, they wrote my name down as Ashton, which I think is I said SJ and I have a mask on. But also I kind of thought I have my Enneagram shirt on and I was like, I wonder if they think I'm Enneagram with Ashton, um, which like wouldn't hate. Um, so I was like, I wonder if that's where that came from. But because someone did that the other day, they like introduced themselves to me at a coffee shop, but they thought they knew I was Enneagram and coffee, but they mixed us together made us like one person thought my name was Ashton and I was like um yeah that's not me I also wanted to tell you a, a thing that I learned trial and error and I maybe I would save you some trouble if you've been here a minute you might know every earth day I do like a new challenge for myself I like eliminate some sort of waste so like one year I eliminated paper towels this past year I eliminated plastic bags and I, I'm not perfect at it, right? Like some weeks, sometimes I forget or if like we're in Obi's car, cause if I forget and we're in my car, I just keep the bags in my car so I can just bring all the groceries unbagged and bag them before I put them in the car, which has worked great. But I'm always at a war with the part of me that doesn't want to talk to anyone <laughs> and just wants to keep listening to whatever I'm listening to. And then the part of me that um so then I would like to go to self-checkout but self-checkout with bags is really hard um it, there's a lot of like often a lot of hiccups what I used to do is I would like try to time it perfectly like I would put my hummus into the bag and then I would set the bag and the hummus down at the same time which worked occasionally but mostly I would get flagged and then someone would have to come over and hit a button or something and let me keep going um but what I figured what I did today was I just didn't bag any of the groceries Maybe some of you are like, yeah, this is what I do every time. This is common sense. But for me, it felt like a revelation. I just like didn't bag any of my groceries, put them all on the, um, the scale and then just bagged them after instead of bagging them as I was ringing them up. Problem solved. So much less stressful. Uh, I'm going to head home, get these groceries put away. I would do a haul, but there's nothing exciting. It's just like fruits and vegetables and 
dairy. Like there's nothing like cool to show you, but I will um, bring you along as we cook dinner, as I cook dinner tonight. Cause um, you guys said you were, you liked when I shared what I was making and I think it's fun. It's what I, I like that in vlogs too. So I'll do that. And then that'll probably be it for the rest of the day because I'm going to vlog into tomorrow. So I don't want to make this an hour long. <laughs> okay. Ooh, let's have for dinner. So basically today, um, all I've eaten is, are those pastries that you saw this morning? I just like ate, like Obi and I shared them and I ate like my half and then was like, I haven't been hungry again. I feel like I'm just kind of now getting hungry. It's like 7 PM. Um, but because of that, I was just feeling like my body needs a lot of vegetables. I didn't really eat, you know, I haven't had really any like nutritious food today because I just had pastries. <laughs> so I just want to eat some vegetables. We have, the problem is we have a lot of leftovers in the fridge, like leftover takeout from last night. We have like leftovers from a dinner Obi made earlier this week, but I really just want to eat a bunch of vegetables. I'm going to just listen. I'm going to choose my body over my brain, which struggles with food waste. I'm just going to say that, you know, my body needs, knows what it wants right now. And it, she does what she wants. So, um, I'm going to make like, a a rice bowl situation. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to fry up the zucchini and then I think I'm going to make like a little, um, like cucumber, tomato, onion salad situation. Um, maybe I can't, I'm going to cook chickpeas. I think maybe I'll put the chickpeas in the salad. So like just kind of leave them cold. I don't know if you guys have had this before, but it's like just the Olive Garden Italian dressing. It's so good. Um, so maybe I'll like drizzle this on top of that. Maybe we'll put feta in it. I don't know if we have any, but I think that's the plan. I mean, it's like super simple. Um, and then just getting all those veggies in, which I think is what I want. Um, but let me see what spices I have for zucchini. Um, I think I'd like to find something kind of Mediterranean-ish. If we have it. Um, we don't really have any like pre-made. So I'll just have to kind of like pull some together. I might just use adobo. That's not very Mediterranean of me, but it's so good. Yeah, I feel like adobo is like nice. It's just salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. I love that for us. Um, I'm gonna add a little extra fresh garlic and then um, probably extra oregano. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's plenty. I don't need to stress over this too much. Okay, let's make a salad if you can even hear me over the line. Um, we need cucumber. Onion. Onion, tomatoes, cucumbers, parsley. Parsley. 
And then, do I want to make the dressing, the salad with lemon juice, vinegar, or Italian dressing? I think vinegar. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Okay. I don't know. So good, you girl. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to do um, the Trader Joe's brown rice. It, like My favorite for like three minutes is amazing. It changed everything for me. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll like assemble the bowls. I still need to make the kiddos dinner, so um, I'll do that while this microwaves. Okay, let's assemble. I'm going to do half a bag in each of the rice. I think I'm gonna like try and like shape it like a, a little moon, like kind of around. And then the salad, I'm gonna do like half the bowl. Okay, I'm putting so much hummus, so like I just want like the whole center to basically be like a bowl for the hummus. Because we are like saucy people, like we love a sauce, so I'm gonna drizzle it with this. Okay, that is our dinner. I'm so excited to eat this. You have no idea. Good morning, everybody. Um, happy Sunday. We have just been watching uh, Over the Garden Wall this morning. Usually on Sundays we watch a movie or something and we've just been watching like this cozy TV show. And it's time for me to start doing some things. We're not gonna do a ton today. But I got a couple of things I need to do. Most important is getting packed for Cle not Cleveland, Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, I'm heading there tomorrow afternoon. There's like ice on the window. I'm heading there tomorrow afternoon 
for just three nights. <laughs> I come back Thursday morning. I'm doing some work with a friend of mine, um, her company. They're doing some work with another company. So I'm just kind of going in as a contractor. Um, but I need to pack. It, I think it's going to be cold there. And I don't think it's going to be colder than it will be here, but it's colder than it has been for me lately. I think it's going to be like in the 40s. So I want to bring a coat. I also want to, it's like a casual dress. So I don't need to like dress up. So I'm probably going to do like sweaters, pants, a coat. And maybe I'll wear my coat on the plane because basically what I'm trying to do is um, go with just a carry on, but that's hard to do. Like it's hard for me to do at least, especially with winter clothes. So I, I'm going to wear some tennis shoes in the airport and then I need to bring, I can bring one more pair of shoes and then I really need like two work outfits and then I leave at like four in the morning on Thursday. So that will be travel clothes. So I need two workouts of travel clothes, pajamas. I think that's it. So wish me luck. I am hopeful. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm not typically successful at this. <laughs> so um, it would just make things a lot simpler though if I did, didn't have to check a bag. You know how it is. So we'll see. got what I'm bringing to wear. I'm bringing this to sleep in and then these to kind of just wear around the house if it's cold. Um, because we're sharing, we are doing an Airbnb. I think there's four or five of us. And then, um, for travel day on Thursday, it's like so early. I'm getting home at like 10 AM. So I'm just doing yoga pants, a black shirt, and then like this jacket and then for work day number one i'm gonna do these pants that are kind of like wide-legged with this tank and then this blazer and i am gonna bring a coat of some kind to go over that <laughs> um i think I think I'm gonna find a way to do that. Um, and then for work day number two, I'm bringing these jeans, which are like straight leg, high waist. This like kind of tank top turtleneck with, I'm wearing this on the plane on the way there. It's like a sweater coat. It's like a trench coat, but it's made of sweater material. So, I do have a winter coat that balls up to like this size. And if I feel like I should bring that, I definitely will. Yeah, so hopefully I can fit, I would like to fit all of those clothes into this packing cube and that would be a dream. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna let zipping be tomorrow's problem because it can't be it can't be my problem right now. 
Hobie made us a charcuterie board for lunch. Okay, hello. It's a little, little bit of bad lighting, but we're just going to work with it. Um, I am getting ready. I'm going to put on makeup, which um, I normally only do for like work events, but it's kind of a work event, but it's Obi. He's doing a reading tonight. He has a, there's like a, I don't really know who puts it on or what it's called, but he was asked to come read some of his fiction at this cider place in town. So super excited for that. Um, he's actually like at school right now doing like, it's Sunday, he's like at school right now doing like at an event for writing students. And then he has to like immediately leave from there to go to this and then me and the kiddo are meeting him there. Um, I'm really excited for him and like proud of him. He is reading a piece actually that he's like currently working on and I really love it and I, I'm i like, you know, some of us, we can always, writers especially, right, we can be like our own worst critics and I hope that he knows that it's as good as it is and feels as sure of it as I feel about it. I always think I should do my mascara first because I get it all over my face. And then I forget to. And then I get it all over my face. That is what we're about to do. This weekend I've been trying really hard to not do too much, you know, and like, but also not to like neglect things that need to be done. And I find that tricky to manage <laughs> um but I feel like I did the best job of it that I've done in a long time like not feeling like I didn't do enough but also not feeling like I like killed it over did myself pretty proud of that honestly I um I think it helps that I'm going out of town tomorrow and there are things that I really stress over that Obi does not stress over and just knowing that like I don't have to stress over it, you know what I mean? Until like next weekend, <laughs> which then we're, you know, we'll have to stress over it together because we're going out to town as a family. Also, these mascaras are the Ilia ones. This is the volumizing and then I also have the lengthening. These are the sample sizes I just ordered from Sephora to try. Um, They're not my favorite, you know, that I've ever tried. But they're not my least favorite either. So I used to have this mascara from MAC that had a volumizing on one side and a lengthening on the other. And I loved using them together. I feel like that's like the best. I also really have like, I have the Thrive mascara. I like it a lot too. And I used to do photography, boudoir photography. I would work with a lot of makeup artists. And one of them taught me to do this when you, you let your mascara dry and then you use a cotton swab with concealer on it to get the little flakes away. Am I consistent about doing this? Absolutely not, but when I do it, it works. I think my lipstick is in my wallet. I'm gonna go grab that. Make sure the kiddo's ready to go. And um, then I'll show you what I'm wearing. 
I just feel like I need to show you my makeup in like normal light because it looks crazy in the overhead light, but I think it looks nice. I'm gonna put some earrings on, a coat, and then I'll show you the look, the outfit. Okay, so this is the outfit. I'll show you the whole thing. And then um, this I think is from Target, maybe Old Navy. This is from Universal Standard. These are from Anthropology. Um, I don't like love the way they sit in the crotch, but I do like them. And then the pants are from Target. I mean, the shoes are from Target and the belt is from Target as well. That's the look. I kind of, I don't I'm into it. The town and the Irish can stand each other, and Cubans didn't trust the Dominicans. The Chinese didn't like the Puerto Ricans. The Greeks actually caused her kneecaps to rupture. Arnold, Obi is a senior at UNTA in creative writing. He's drawn the stories that explore the surreal. When he's not reading or writing, he's probably trying to rope you into playing tennis. <laughs> Please help me welcome Obi. I wondered if I lacked something, some pain or anguish that was essential to being an artist. Maybe I had it too easy. Okay, friends, um, I'm in my car. I just pulled in. Um, Obi did such an amazing job. I was so proud of him. And <clears throat> he, uh, the kiddo ended up riding home with him. And they're already inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and close the vlog off here. Um, thank you for joining me for the weekend, for a weekend in my life. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go and have dinner, wash this makeup off my face get cozed up in the warm house because it is cold right now. I am shocked at how cold it is. I did not think I was going to need shoes with socks, but I definitely did. And maybe even gloves, which is having me rethink my packing for Cincinnati. I think I might have to, you know, think some things through before I call that a, a go. But anyway, I will see you guys um, next week for a new vlog, probably one from Cincinnati, let's be honest. All right, I'll see you, I'll see you in Ohio.